Hello everybody, welcome back to my channel Beauty Bites by Konika Arora. You must be thinking why am I bare face today? Yes, because I'm doing a very interesting video today. This is one of the questions that you all often ask me. It's been so long that I haven't recorded a video. You all know what was the reason COVID was all around and I'm not one of those who remain unaffected by whatever is going around. Everything around me affects me and COVID did affect me as well. But anyways, now I am back and I want to show you how do I remove my facial hair. Um, if you are my old subscriber, then you know that I have got my full body laser done and I am very happy with the results. I was born as a bear, trust me. I had so much hair all over my body and thanks to uh, Isaac Lux, wherein I got my body laser done and I'm very happy with the results. But you do need to have a maintenance session every year, but it's been almost like four months or more than four months that I haven't got any of the maintenance session as well. So I am here in Canada. I wanted to remove my facial hair. So the only and only trustworthy way of me removing my facial hair is by using a razor. But I don't force all of you to use the same technique. It's your own wish. Um, if you're comfortable with hair on your skin, flaunt it the way you feel comfortable. It's not very important for you to remove your facial hair. But yes, I do notice a lot of uh, positive and wonderful effects on my skin when I do remove all my facial hair. Number one is definitely that my face looks more clean, it looks more plump, more um, it looks more fresh, I don't know, it looks more neat and tidy. Second, I feel that my foundation, my makeup turns out to be so much smoother. The application turns out to be really beautiful once I remove my facial hair. And third is what I notice or what I feel is that my um, skincare products penetrate much better in my skin because Yes, the razors do exfoliate your skin. They do remove the dead layer of your skin and uh, the products that you use in your skincare are able to penetrate in a better way. Um, my only and only trustworthy razors have always been Tinkle. They are the ones, uh, this one is used. I have a fresh one for you. Oh, this is how the pack looks like and it comes in a pack of three and i always order it online i you can order it on amazon i'm sure you'll get it on amazon and uh they are the ones i don't know how do i get my hands on them because i've seen a lot of youtubers using it i was too young when i, when I started removing my facial hair and i am sure that i must have noticed a youtuber talking about this and since then i have been using these razors a uh, lot of questions that pop up in your mind is uh, don't you think that you get thicker, darker, more denser growth when you remove your hair with razor? I would say no, this is definitely a myth. It's been years I've been doing this and I still don't have those beard type hair. Um, the growth is still the same. Why the scientific reason the logical reason behind this is you are not interfering with the follicle, the root of your hair. The root of the hair is still the same. You are just cutting your hair uh, from the end. The root of the hair is still the same, but you are just cutting your hair from the end. So the end would not affect the follicle. It's just that you feel that it's a little more sharper. Why? You actually cut your hair. It becomes more squarish rather than being more a softer so you feel that it has become more thicker no that's not the case it's still the same um, I have never noticed a harder growth um, but that's that's my perception uh, it has never resulted in hard growth on my skin and I feel that it's absolutely safe you need to know the right way of doing it and you can have great results uh, this is how the razor looks like. This has this cover and uh, once you start with this, I 
just put on a band so that it doesn't interfere in your uh, procedure and you can see your hairline very well where exactly do you need to work the first step is definitely going to be washing your face and then applying your skincare um, I don't like applying oil on my face and then taking my facial hair off because that, that's what I have seen in most of the videos and people do it that way but I don't think um, I don't feel great because then the razor uh, I think it's gl it glides more and I just don't know I'm not very comfortable with it and you really have um, higher chances of getting razor burns razor burns are not exactly the burns but yes when you do uh, you do a lot of friction on your skin you do get too sensitive and that is what leads to razor burns so i am very comfortable like this i wash off my face i apply a good moisturizer um, before using the razor i don't use a moisturizer which is too oily i am happy with um, a normal moisturizer like a uh, avino i think that's what i have used today and uh, now i'm going to start removing my hair the only thing that you have to remember is you don't have to use the razor like this because this way the razor can give you cuts so you have to hold the razor in this way at almost like you know 45 degree angle from your skin and then take off the hair also please don't use your razor in the opposite direction always use it in the same direction because tugging and pulling your hair in the opposite direction can give you more friction and your skin can become more sensitive and um, you may have uh, you may get hypersensitive uh, that is why I feel that always use a razor in the direction of the hair I always start from this area I take off I take all my hair up because I don't like to take off these hair that it starts looking like a wig. I want it to look very, very natural. I'm going to take this off. And now I will just... Can you see how many hair do I have here? This is all peach fuzz. Can you see? Eww. This was all over my face. I always like to clean my razor in between using a tissue. Can you see this? And it's just this area because uh, it takes all the extra hair off and I don't like using cotton because then it gets stuck in the razor and I don't like the feel of it. Always remember that you have to use the other hand to stretch your skin and then use the razor oh my god can you imagine how flawless my makeup is going to look after this and I always use my razor in the direction of my growth. And now when I come to the jawline, I lift it and you know, I always like to clean this area as well because I have a lot of growth here as well and I don't like it. So I like to make this area also quite neat. I like to work on my nose as well because the way I said it does exfoliate your skin and I can see a lot of stuff on the razor
make sure that you're not very hard on your skin be very gentle I also work on my chin Okay, now when it comes to upper lip, I again use the razor in the same direction as my growth is. I have growth that goes this way and here it goes this way. So, You guys don't know how much I waited for my growth to be seen fully so that I can record this video for you. I have never seen myself like this in, in years. And now this area, I the growth is like this. So I'm going to just take my eyebrow under my finger because I don't want to take off my eyebrow and now we come to forehead Please be very careful here. You wanna you don't wanna take your eyebrow off. I actually don't touch my hairline. I want it to be very very natural. And then I come here. I don't do it this way because the razor is broad enough. So I do it this way. And I clean the center as well. So I'm done with half of my face and I'm going to finish this half as well and be right back. Now I'm done with the razor part. You can apply a calming and a soothing toner on top of this and follow it with your skincare. I love using this one from Bioderma. It is a Atoderm SOS spray and it's anti-itching ultra soothing spray for irritated and dry and very sensitive skin. I love spraying it all over my face. It calms my skin. It's so soothing. I feel so good after this. And I just let this sink into my skin. And after this, you can apply a good moisturizer. I generally like uh, taking off my facial hair at night because I don't want to expose myself to sun immediately after removing my facial hair because then the top dead layer of my skin is removed and my skin becomes a little more sensitive. So I like doing it at night and after this what I also love to apply is this honey potion from pharmacy. This is very very good. It's very hydrating, it's very soft on skin, it's very mild and it nourishes my skin. And the next morning I get up with a skin which is just like a baby bump. So that was my whole way of removing facial hair and I hope that you would have got your questions solved. Uh, trust me girls, um, it is just a myth that razors will make your hair grow much thicker. Uh, if you see the hair in my, I don't want to show this gunk and dirt to you, but if you see this, it's still peach fuzz. It's still those soft hair that I had in the beginning. They have not grown thicker at all. And I still love this process and it makes my face look so clean, so neat. 
my products go on so well on my skin my makeup looks flawless limitless benefits i love this process anyways in the end i would just like to say if you haven't subscribed to my channel please do subscribe and hit the notification bell so that you are notified every time my video goes up also in the end i would like to mention uh after using the razor i am going to sanitize my razor and then put it back over the cap on i um they generally say that you have to use the razor once and throw it away but i don't do that because these razors work really well at least thrice yes i have been using these razors and they work so pretty well but you really have to take good care of them not really a good care you have to sanitize them and put them back make sure that you're not keeping them in an in an area which is wet like in your shower area because then this this uh, the blade can be rusted so keep them in a safe place and you'll be good to go and you can use the same razor again that's what i do it but it's your wish you want to throw it away you can and use a fresh and new razor next time i love you all stay blessed and keep watching